In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a 3D text design in Adobe Illustrator. You can use this technique to create some cool 3D text for your poster designs or typography artworks and much more. I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start by creating a new document. So let's hit Ctrl N on the keyboard to create a new document. I'm going to call this 3D text. You can of course call it whatever that you want. Width of 1920 and height of 1080p. If I jump into my more advanced settings, you can see what settings I'm using. It's basically basic RGB mode and the raster effects is set to 300 ppi and everything as a default so i'm going to click on create so it's going to create a new document let's start by creating a background so i'm going to select the rectangle tool we don't need any strokes so i'm going to set this to zero and let's go with a different color so first of all i'm going to make sure the rectangular tool is selected and click on the artboard which is going to bring up the pop-up for the width and height of the box that we want to create so i'm going to go with 1920 by 1080 that is our background or artboard size so let's align it into the center you can find all the tabs that i'm using like the pathfinder align transparency you can launch them or make them pop up by going into windows and there you get the align the pathfinder and just make make sure that those are checked so here we have our background ready to go let's um add a nice color to this so i'm going to double click let's go with a nice dark blue maybe something like this looks pretty nice let's double click to rename the layer call this bg for background and then i can lock this layer let's create new layer for our text i can call this text and then select the text tool and type in any text that I want to type. So let's click and let's increase the size first of all. And for the font, I'm going to be going with integral, Temi bold. I'll mention the font download link in the description below. So let's increase the size by holding alt and control if you want to. And type in our text. So I'm going to type in deep. You can of course type in any text that you want align it into the center maybe i'll make it a bit more bigger just something like so and for the color i can keep it a nice white color so that is looking good let's select the text layer go into the character and increase the kerning a bit so let's set this up to around 500 and hit enter there we go again i'm going to align it into the center right click and click on create outline so it's going to convert the text into a basic shapes i can select it and ungroup it so now let's start by adding the 3d depth to one text or one alphabet at a time so i'm going to select the d letter go into effect 3d and extrude and bevel let's turn on the preview so we can see what's going on first of all let's increase the extrude depth all the way up to 600 and let's add some perspective to this so i can just move the slider or drag this slider to the right so something like that looks good and now i can place it or move it according to the angle that i want to keep this letter in so i'm going to keep it something like so we don't want any rotation so let's rotate this okay maybe a bit just like so maybe i'll move this a bit to the top and let's place it in the right position that i want maybe i'll just move this a bit and that is looking good let's rotate this to zero so there we go there we have our text let's select the text go into object and expand appearance so it's going to convert all the effect into basic shapes 
then I can right click and let's ungroup this twice. So now we have individual shapes as you can see. So let's combine them first of all. So I'm going to select the inner two shapes by holding shift and unite them using the pathfinder option. Same, I'm going to do this right over here as well. There we go. Now we need to add some nice gradient to give it a feel of depth. So let's select the shape, add gradient just like that. And I can hit G and then drag this to add a nice gradient to this. And first of all, let's change the color as well. So I'm going to make it same as the background. So you can just simply pick whip this and let's move this slider just like so we have a nice blending gradient and now you can see the shapes are giving a feel of or a sense of depth i can just select this again hit g for the gradient tool again and i can just play around with this just keeping it like so maybe then i can select the shape layer hit i and pick with the same color hit g to bring up the gradient controller and i can just rotate it and place it into the position that i want so i can just move this one like so so that is looking nice let's select the inner shape hit i pick with this hit g and then place it into the position or rotate it first of all and let's move this like so Alright, so now you can see we get this really nice look and I'm going to do the same exact thing for the rest of the text as well. So let's select the text, go into effect and let's click directly on apply extrude and bevel. So it's going to apply the same exact settings from the D text. Now I can jump into the appearance and click on extrude and bevel, turn on the preview and now all I have to do is just change the position of the text. So I'm going to keep it something like like this maybe let's set this to zero yep that looks much better and hit on ok so again let's select this go into object and ex expand appearance ungroup this twice then let's select the shape hit i to pick with the same gradient hit g to bring up the gradient and just drag it like so do this again hit i let's select the gradient hit g and then let's drag this like just like so make sure the edge of the shape is not visible through the gradient if not it won't look um, that good so i'm going to select these two shapes again hit ctrl g to group them up hit i and basically just select the gradient hit g and let's add a nice gradient maybe i'll just ungroup this again and let's apply gradient individually so let's add g and boom there we go so that is looking pretty nice now if i just select everything again hit ctrl g same i'm going to do this right over here select everything and hit ctrl g make sure the e is below the d text so i can just drag this below the d and now you can see we get a much more nice uh, look and obviously i'm gonna make it pure white right now it's set to gray so i'm gonna just move this just like that go back same i'm gonna do this right over here select the d so double click to isolate it basically and let's add um, a nice white color so now you can see it's looking very nice. So I'm going to do the exact same process again for these two. So let's uh, fast forward the video a bit. So there we go. Our text is ready to roll as you can see it's looking super nice so i can select everything hit ctrl g group them up and align it into the center maybe make it a bit more bigger 
you can add your tagline and whatnot and make a cool poster out of this cool technique so yep that is all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this illustrated tutorial if you did make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out